Well, hello, and welcome back to Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. We are going to spend the night like I, if I can remember correctly. Have some din din. Have a nice little chat with everyone. Come on. Let's get something to eat. I need to relax a little. Eating here with all of you reminds me of when... <laughs> When the priest suddenly showed up and snatched you? What a bunch of insolent louts. Boy, was that ever a surprise. We did not even have a moment to say farewell. I was curious if I would ever see you again. As was I, I thought we might never gather a, again around a table like this. I am grateful that we can. After you left, Elena, we sat here and tried to talk, but... Mostly, we just stared at your empty chair. After missing you so much, it is sure a pleasure to be rejoined as a group again. It is sure a pleasure. Shouldn't it be it sure is? Some of the phrasing in this game throws me off. Once you left, the scene degenerated into a handful of boys fighting over just about everything. It is calming to have you back. <laughs> Why, thank you. I'm so happy to hear you say that. Speaking of mills, Elena, is it true that all they fed you was bread and wine? Right. Don't you fancy church types get anything better than that? Well, I guess there was bread to be sure, but actually, I was so nervous that I really do not remember what I ate. I understand perfectly. I like it much more to eat casually like this than to be bound by formalities. How would a kid like you know about formal dining? I wouldn't have thought that Gonzola would be a fan of formal dining, hmm? Well, actually, um, I guess it wasn't all that fancy or formal, really. <laughs> uh, no, uh, what I've been, what I have been to is really nothing fancy or formal. It was, uh, just a simple dinner party, nothing more. I could hardly eat with all those high-ranking church officials around me. I was so nervous, constantly worrying about my table manners, using my fork and knife correctly. I'll bet Elena can't even remember what she had for dinner either. <laughs> In classic Elena style. <laughs> so what if I cannot remember what I ate that night? What is important is that we are all gathered together tonight. So, anyway... It is great to have you back, Elena. Well, in any case, it is good to be together again. We can continue to run in a pack, together until the end. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. I much prefer eating with all of you. I just hope we can continue being together. Well, what do you say? Are you done? Yeah, we're done. Thanks for the mail. Can't wait for the next one. Hey, Elena. Some actual food in your belly? Hello, Mouse Pointer. Trying to hide there for the whole video, apparently. Okay, we are out of here. Next up is... What was that place called? Sirem? Gyrum? St. Heim Mountains Pilgrim Road. Over the mountains to the east. Well, not really a whole lot of mountains to the east that I can see. The Pilgrim Road. Oh my, what is the matter? You look quite pale. I tried climbing down the ladder at the side of the road, but there were monsters everywhere. I can't believe it. I was about to be gobbled up by monsters, so I ran for my life. I'm just bushed. Excuse me, how much further is it to Granis Cathedral? I should almost be there. Are you going to the pr are you going there to pray? The cathedral is only a short distance ahead. You've almost made it. So I can go over the edge there down to the mountains or down to the monsters can go down there so many different choices so many items await us 
And we're gonna bypass all of them, apparently. And just take the road. The Raul... The Raul... The Raul Hills. Aw, they don't have a fancy paved path here? What's this say? A sign that I can't read. Squiggly, this way. Go get your squiggly on. Uh, I'm not gonna save it. I highly doubt that we die in this place. Thunder ring. Come here, you. I only ambushed them because their back was turned to me. I want to see... Just how easy I can kill all of you. Should still be the same. Oh, and I gotta re-equip you. If I'm not mistaken. Let's just snooze them real quick. That way, if they don't die, at least they don't get a chance to act. And then we can just mercilessly slaughter them. Expect an early winter with lots of snow! Except for that one who didn't fall asleep, so his initiative, of course. It's going to be too damn high! Where is he? Gonna get the axe! You know what? It doesn't really matter. Just stab everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, another pretty ring dropping right there. Elena, show him what you've got. Hit him with that staff. Me too. Wait, I didn't see if that was a pretty ring or whatever it said. I don't care. We're not going to fight a whole bunch of stuff here. Can I read this sign? No. Bridge out ahead. Go figure. Just my luck. The bridge is out, so you've got to go through the spooky freaking castle ruins here. Great. Black Quartz Helm, huh? Sounds pretty fancy. Probably something that will be... Replaced as soon as we get to the next town. Black Magical Helmet. Okay. You can have that, Merrick. Go away. I don't have my Axe of Reptiles slain equipped anymore. Uh oh. thought that was a dead end for a second. Help, it's a maze. I'm lost and confused. A pittance. Only 1,500? There we go. Earthen Quiris. Now, why that word is pronounced that way, I don't know. It doesn't start with a Q. The English language is weird. Level 2 Earth Resist. I'll give that to you. Ryudo is fairly tough. He doesn't need good gear. I'm trying to see if there's any other items I'm missing through here. Anything that looks somewhat easily accessible, but I don't see it. We made it! Through the haunted ruins! Or <laughs> whatever they were. Oh, okay. I was gonna try to interact with it, see if I could click on it. I can. Oh, god dang it. I click through things so quick. What is it? Weakness nut. Well, it's free items. A golden nut. Wow. That sounds fantastic. Question is, what do you do? Restores exactly 72 hit points. Well, that doesn't sound that great. Maybe I can sell it to somebody for something? No. I'm going to guess that some of these might have rare items in them or something. Or they might have monsters in them. This one... Does, we're, we're, I knew it! I knew we were going to get ambushed. And I still didn't even get to see what we looted there. You, you don't want to hit Elena, guys. You're going to end up regretting it. Ah, I didn't equip her. Why am I the worst player of all time? when it comes to these things. It's like one of the main things in these games is that you have to equip your gear. 
They're not exactly a gear grind. But it's still rather important. You cannot get away with that. And I'm just assuming that she's not equipped because she turned into millennia. Oh, 500 out of 1,000. We're halfway there. I don't know how long this game is, but I have a feeling we're going to easily get that. A Mirage Earring. Is that going to be... Go away. Is that going to be for evasion? Yep. Ups evasion by 15%. Okay. While I'm there... God dang it. Okay, Sister Staff, no, you are good. Even though... Thought we got like. I know we got a. Oh no, it was a priest book, not an egg that we got, so. Book of Priests! Maximum hit point increase. I'm just gonna max that out. Everybody needs more. more health. Okay. So, you've got strength and dash. You have nothing. Gonna give you life. And... Intelligence for now. Because I don't want to level up anything else in that priest book. Just yet. Do you have anything? Golden nut. Hmm. Oh, I was going to say, well, that's a mighty tiny one. Seed of Defense. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's just like a one-time use item in battle. Valuables. Seed of Life. That's an extra 10 hit points. Seed of Defense. Seed of Psyche. Seed of Spells. I wonder if I could come back through this place and then farm some of these seeds. Now I'm curious. Could I cheese the game a little bit by spending an hour or so running back and forth through here? Give everyone a whole bunch of extra hit points or something? We're already doing, honestly, a fairly insane amount of damage. And we're taking absurd amounts of damage as well. Another golden nut. Ah, uh, we're gonna get ambushed. Like, we're not very far into the game, and I feel like. And we're already doing 2,000 damage with some of our special abilities. I don't know why I try to sneak past things sometimes. Like, it was plainly obvious that we were going to get ambushed. I should have just taken the initiative. And hit them all myself. So these guys... I'll say these guys are casting fire, which means they're probably strong to it. How about... You try to snooze everything. I don't want them to get another chance to go. If it, if it can be helped at all. Who needs to cancel and interrupt attacks? when you can just do this. So... Eh, we'll slash him. Why not? Tensei can slash! <laughs> 1,200 damage. One move. Expect an early winter with lots of snow! Granted, I did gain a bunch of levels that I probably didn't need if I was a better player. But whatever. Quick, we've got to finish these bastards off. Merig, can you do it? Elena, our trust is being put in you. Well, we missed that attack. Great. A diamond or sapphire. 
Don't know if it's an item I can actually use or if it's just another one for sell. Quick, clobber him. Flamestone, okay. So it's an item I can use in battle. I can't read this sign either. I feel like that would be important information to have. Danger, this boat will throw you over a waterfall. Do not take it, it is a trap. Or danger, this boat will lead you back to where you came from. You should have been paying attention, fool. But thankfully it doesn't. I don't think this game is as rude as, say, Star Ocean Tell the End of Time is, where you can go through a dungeon and right before you get to the end they'll have a one-way door you can go through that takes you back to the very beginning. And if you don't pay attention, well, have fun doing the whole dungeon again. This is what we were missing at St. Himes Cathedral. Got the shops, some houses. Curious how this town has anything to do with those who live underground. It's an ocean town, come on. My, this town is bustling with activity. The fruit of prosperity is in abundance. This peaceful scenery is just a facade. When the time comes, its true, ugly form is sure to show itself. We, the people of Sirem, are known as the descendants of the people of darkness. What? So, is the Grana Saber in this country? And what do you mean by the descendants of the people of darkness? Not like everyone's hunched over rubbing their hands and muttering curses. You're saying that you're one of these people? Yes. Most probably have almost no memory of the people of darkness. But only my people can never forget. That is why I left to learn about the confrontation between light and darkness. Come, let's get a room first. Tomorrow we can start searching for the meaning of Zara's words. I think I spend more time at ends in this game than I do in dungeons. Yippee! We've got some great deals here. Step on down and buy my stuff. Shadow Blade. Sudden death power. Randomly kill enemies. Fire based burn flame. Howling Slash. Okay, so various elemental staffs for her. An Arbalist for Millennia. A Mangouch. However that's pronounced. Plus 10 to defense, too, huh? Large, long-shafted axe. Okay, I don't think I'm going to buy any of this. We spent a ton of money in the last town. Actually stocking up on stuff. 650 damage. Wind-based, fire-based, earth-based, lightning, plus paralysis. That's 750. Blizzard-based attack. That does... It has a power of 1,200 and is the cheapest on there. A powerless nut. Weakness nuts. Exhausted nuts. Slowpoke nuts. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. What do I want? Smelling salts? No, I don't need any of this. Okay. I'm just gonna save our money and go do something more valuable with our time. Half tempted just to save it at the end and, uh make a super short video out of this one. Sometimes you guys get long videos. Sometimes they go well over 30 minutes. Gotta be short sometimes, too. Boy, am I having a good time. Oh, guests! You wanna spend the night? Sorry, but I can't put you up tonight. 
What with the festival and all? Festival? What are you talking about? Hmm. I've seen you somewhere. Oh my. Aren't you the pr- Huh? Who are you talking about? You seem to be enjoying yourself. What is happening at the festival? What's ha What's happening at the festival? Oh, the day after tomorrow, the king himself will be holding a festival commemorating the founding of the country. I hear the king will be making an important announcement. All boys in the kingdom are to meet at the castle. Maybe they found some treasure underneath the castle and they're going to show it off. I doubt it. How odd. Something is afoot. Excuse me, sir. Can you please put my friends up for the night? We don't have much, so... You all can stay for free. It's been decided. Mr. Ryudo, I must go home first before anything else. Please, spend the night here. I shall return tomorrow. Okay, take care then. Weird. What's with him? He doesn't want us to see his home or tent or alleyway or cardboard box or dumpster or whatever. There is nothing to be done. Allow the cub his privacy. For if we would be so thoughtless as to follow... His family would be awfully surprised to see our strange party. Right. We'll take it easy for him then. I guess we have some free time, so let's check out the town. The town bustles with color. Surely there are some amongst the many who have traveled here who know of the Divine Sword. So, you guys are looking for something, hey? Why not go to the bazaar? Why, don't, why not go to the bazaar they're holding in the castle square? Lots of people come there from all around. Lots of people from all around? Oh, I would love to go there. Might be just what we need. Fables and legends hide truths which may yet be of use to us. I would hear these people's words. Ah, yes. At the back of the square you'll find someone named Himble. He might just know something. But he's a difficult man to deal with. He won't talk to you if he doesn't like you. Difficult? What sort of person does he like? Miss... Just how strong is this young man here? Well, Ryudo is very strong. I trust him completely. Okay, then listen. When you go see Himble, make sure he knows what a wonderful couple you are. A, a wonderful couple? Like I said, he's strange. But he'll be sure to talk to you. I tell you, buddy. You're a hell of a lucky guy to have a lovely girl like her. Shouldn't be too hard to play Kissy Poo. Uh, me? N no. He's working for me. I am a sister of Granus. I won't have such impure thoughts. Uh, did I say something wrong? Uh, I know with some dismay that she's still unable to tell when people are messing with her. She's got no sense of humor, that girl. Are they sworn to a vow of celibacy or something? What am I doing? Why am I so... Such silly words. It's Ryudo's fault. He didn't deny it immediately. Oh, Lord Granus, please forgive my shameful behavior. Now we know where Millennia comes from, for sure. He does not see that I am a sister of the church. Pfft, Ryudo. That clown. Yes, Ryudo is just a hired hand. He should know better. I might as well go to sleep. It's amazing how he got rooms for all of us, apparently. I get my own bed. Oh boy, here we go. What 
is this woman doing? Huh, I know. <laughs> oh dear, she's gonna taunt her. You're trapped in the mirror world now. Hmm, I see. So we can no longer hide it from the people. I believe your highness's speech tomorrow will bring everyone to their senses. And what about that man? Oh, so you were here. Your highness, does something worry you? He looks faintly familiar, but I can't tell with that hair. I want to thank you. My people's wishes will finally come true. The prince's medal is no longer necessary. Oh, so Rowan is a prince. I see. I thought he was going to be called a priest or something, and like a priest of the Dark Legion or something. He was going to have some type of backstory like that. Exactly. Now all the fears of the people of darkness have disappeared. You may rest assured. <laughs> totally not evil hiding in the shadows with an evil laugh. Just what is he planning? Hey, Elena, wake up. Get out of bed. Didn't you say you want to go to the bazaar? Oh no. Ryudo, I'm coming. That was a quaint animation right there. Uh, look at that face. What's this? Elena, I know you like Ryudo. Let him know it. Oh, she wrote it <laughs> wrote on the mirror. Come on, get up. Hey, princess. Hey, sister. I, I'm coming right now. Wait, I want to go back up into her room and check that mirror, see if she had time to erase it. Morning. What's wrong? You all right? Well, I guess we go to the back of the bazaar, right? That's right. The bazaar is held in the castle square. Take care. Come on, let's go. A moment. What's up, Merig? As I understand it, more than two a couple does not make. It would be rather odd were I to accompany you. I shall make my way to the harbor while you conduct your affairs. Well, wait, Merig, don't leave me alone with... Ryudo? <laughs> yeah, someone should check out the docks. Come on, what's wrong, Elena? We go in or not? Uh, yes, I suppose. You having second thoughts about this whole thing? It's just part of the job. Thought that might lead out to a balcony or something. Wait a second, if she slept in this room, then where did we all sleep? <laughs> nope. Damn, I was hoping Ryudo would be able to stumble upon that. Okay, let me save it. Uh, whenever we come back, we'll go to the bazaar and see if we can make Elena feel even more uncomfortable. Because that is about the only joy that Ryudo gets in his life right now. <laughs> 